Pharrell Williams famed Something in the Water Festival wrapped up in D.C. The Grammy Award winning artist and Virginia Beach native brought thousands of festival goers to the nation's capital. But as some noticed on social media this weekend, it didn't happen without some issues. Alex Littlehale spoke with a Hampton Roads native who shares how he's seen the festival change after its years long return. So I see where they wanted to have the three different stages so you can have three different opportunities of different acts you want to see because it was a lineup that was great. It's a different feeling for Portsmouth's Reggie Scott, who's still tired from his drive back from the nation's capital. But you can tell the difference a lot between the beach setting and the city setting. It's Scott's second Something in the Water Festival and Washington, D.C.'s first, after Pharrell Williams moved it from his hometown of Virginia Beach following his kickoff concert in 2019. But Scott can personally echo some of the crowd and logistical concerns raised on social media this weekend. Congestion and it just wasn't open flow like it used to be. Having three stages, two of which were too close together, he says, posed challenges for festival goers like Scott trying to see all the acts over the weekend. And the city setting compared to a beach backdrop pinched spectators and made it hard to move around. Scott says it became a difficult reality than what you'd come to expect at a festival of this size. For anyone that's claustrophobic, I would feel bad for them. On Saturday, he saw some festival goers being told they couldn't come back in because of capacity issues. There were people who were turned away from coming back in at all because they were at capacity. He says he enjoyed the music, but hopes those kinks are worked out for next year. Lenient, I would give a C because I see the potential. I see what they tried to do. In Norfolk, I'm Alex Little Hales for 13 News Now.